Hello everybody, it's Felix here from the Tennis Brothers and today is the start of something new. I'm here with Daz Drake, a unbelievable strength and conditioning coach. And he's going to be helping me to get fit and match, match ready. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm Daz Drake. I'm the owner of Athletic Performance Academy and we specialise in getting tennis players fit for the game. I'm going to be working with you to uh, get you in peak physical condition and most importantly prepare you for the demands of the training that you're going to do. All right. This is a pure speed test. So the best way to do this is to just get your head down and push really, really hard into the ground. Okay, so don't do what you would normally do as a tennis player, you're kind of mean upright because you're trying to scan looking for the ball. This is just pure physical speed. So the quickest way to do this is head down and then push hard into the ground and let's go. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna get two goes, ready position, go you want. Okay, 1.13. You might be wondering how we met Daz. I saw him working with some really good players, so can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, I've been very lucky over the years to work with a lot of people in British tennis that have gone on to play at the highest level of the game. So, um, most recently last year, I was able to watch Bonnie Smith, who was a junior at Wimbledon. And then obviously this year, a highlight for me was getting to watch Katie Dunn play at centre court against Ostapenko, which was really, really uh, amazing. And obviously, hopefully I can help you to achieve something like that yourself. That would be really good. So Daz, why is strength and conditioning so important in you know, modern tennis? Well, if you look at how the game's evolved over the last 20 years, the game's getting faster and faster and faster. For example, the men's game, the men now are hitting the serve at over 140 miles an hour. They're hitting their ground strokes at up to 90 miles an hour. And you've only got a split second to react to those kind of balls. So you need to be really, really fit, really fast to be able to play. And then the game is lasting anywhere from one hour up to five hours per match. So not only do you have to be fast, but you also have to be incredibly fit. So it's really, really important in the modern game now that you get in peak physical condition. And obviously S and C, do you think that everyone should be able to do it and should do it from maybe a pro all the way down to you know a local player? I think everyone should be doing some conditioning. Everyone is capable of maximizing their athletic potential. That's what I call getting you in your, your peak performance state. Not everyone can obviously operate at the elite level, but obviously everyone can and should try and get as fit as they possibly can to play the best level of tennis that they're capable of. So now all the talking's done, let's go do some fitness testing. Let's go. So I just did my warm up, did like six sprints. I wonder what my time's gonna be. One point one eight. So we take your first time. One point one three is your best. We're gonna go to ten meters now. So I haven't done that for a while, it was a bit straining. Let's do some more tests. Okay, just kind of simulating that half court in and out, checking diet. That long 10 minute sprint that you did before. Yeah. So it's called the 5 10 5 drill where you're going to go half court for five, 
run whole court for 10 and then half court back to five. So we can look at both those things combined. Yeah? Five, ten, five. It's gonna be a bit long. Yes. 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 Four, nine, four. That's a good time. Now, I like that because that for me encapsulates a little bit of, of you. Four, nine, zero, right? But you were running off, off the line <laughs> and you were out of balance, you know what I mean? So it shows you've got raw athleticism but now you just need to be more efficient. You see what I mean? So if we were to look back at it, I think that would be like perfect sort of indication of where you're at. You know, you've got the speed, 490 is a good time. But did you notice that you yeah, kind of came off yeah. the line yeah. and then when you turned, you were kind of like again off of the change. So there's a lot of potential gains there and that's just from, um, you know, working on it a little bit. So it's exciting, huh? Yeah. Good, well done. Right, 490, should we do uh, Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at how well you change direction, but rather than side to side, from forward to back. Because obviously, is that something that you might have to do as well? Yeah. Okay? Good.